Greetings from the Ottoman in my half-decorated living room. So I watched the Spring Awakening documentary. If you didn't know, Spring Awakening, Those You've Known, the reunion concert documentary recently premiered on HBO. And oh my gosh, I have some thoughts. So let's get into it. If this is your first time seeing my face, Hi, my name's Kat and I really like musicals. If you really like musicals, hit subscribe to join the musical theater internet cult. If you do, I'll tell you what a purple summer is. Thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Question of the day, have you watched the Spring Awakening documentary? And if so, what did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Overall review right now, personally, I really enjoyed the documentary. If you're a fan of Spring Awakening, if you're a fan of musical theater, it's so much fun. I highly recommend it. It's not like a gritty documentary. It's more like a behind the scenes featurette on a DVD. I just aged myself so much, but honestly, so does the documentary. It is a heavy dose of nostalgia, both for the show and for who you were when you first discovered it. It's a little bit like stepping into a time machine and then you're suddenly in your middle school bedroom, but I'm getting ahead of myself. First, a little history. Spring Awakening is a 2006 musical that won eight Tony Awards, including Best Musical. It's based on a play of the same name and it's a tragic coming of age story that tells the story of three teenagers who are all struggling with puberty, adolescence, and everything that comes with growing up. Something really unique about the show is that even though it's set in 1800s Germany, whenever the characters start to sing, they pull out a hand mic and the vibe totally changes to like 90s rock contemporary musical theater. So despite an initially bumpy opening, once Spring Awakening kind of hit the mainstream, it really hit. It launched the careers of Jonathan Groff, Leah Michelle, and John Gallagher Jr. The show became incredibly popular, especially among teenagers and young adults. It was also considered pretty scandalous at the time because there is quite a lot of spice on that stage. Now fast forward 15 years, and the original Broadway cast comes together to bring the show back to life. In November 2021, they performed Spring Awakening in concert to benefit the Actors Fund. And that is what the documentary is about, sort of. I'll explain in a sec, but real quick, let's take a moment to thank today's sponsor. Hi. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. My boyfriend and I just cooked their balsamic tomato and herb chicken over buttery garlic spaghetti, and it was incredible. HelloFresh effortlessly saves you time, money, and stress. Their step-by-step -step recipes are super easy to follow and pre-portioned ingredients help you cut out prep time. They also make it super easy to adjust your plan so you can order more if you wanna have friends over for dinner. They also offer quick and easy recipes that minimize prep time and make cleanup lighting fast. They offer a variety of meals like veggie, pescatarian, and fit and wholesome. The fit and wholesome recipes, by the way, are delicious and it's infinitely easier to eat more healthy when you don't have to sacrifice flavor. And HelloFresh is perfect for busy schedules. They've got simple recipes with fresh, pre-portioned ingredients that cut out meal prep and extra trips to the supermarket. And HelloFresh can help you eat more sustainably. They're the first carbon neutral meal kit company and nearly all their packaging is recyclable. Because the recipes include pre-portioned ingredients, that means less prep for you and less wasted food. In fact, HelloFresh cuts down on your food waste by at least 25% compared to grocery shopping. And it's up to 72% cheaper than dining in a restaurant. So what are you waiting for? Go to HelloFresh.com and use code CAT16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. That's code CAT16 at HelloFresh.com for 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this segment. And now, back to the video. So the Spring Awakening documentary is about a couple of different things. So the main focus and one of the best parts, of course, are the performances from the reunion concert, but it's a lot more too. It gives you an inside look to see how Spring Awakening was created. It gives you personal vulnerable moments with the cast to see how the material has affected them, how it's changed with age now that they're returning to the material. You've got rehearsals for the reunion. You've also got just a ton of stories about people people reminiscing about their time in Spring Awakening. And I think that's really the heart of this documentary and what makes it so special. Because some of these stories are incredible. Like the cast camp out at Jonathan Groff's farm. You get to see like home movie footage of all of these teeny tiny little Broadway stars walking off of a school bus and going to this big slumber party at the Groff farm. It's so nostalgic and sweet and normal. Like watching all of these people that you've known, you know, for your entire career, watching them just 
just like kind of be kids, which is a total crazy contrast on the flip side when they're talking about how big the show was getting. I was just a little too young to see Spring Awakening hit in real time, so I had no idea of the scope of the cultural impact it had. Like the Gap ad? Oh my gosh, that unlocked a memory I thought I had forgotten. There was a billboard ad for The Gap starring the gang of Spring Awakening, and it was a huge deal. It was in the middle of Times Square. That's so crazy to think about. So some overall takeaways that I had from the documentary. Jonathan Groff is so charismatic. He serves as the emotional anchor for the documentary, and he executive produced it, and he was instrumental in putting the concert together. John Gallagher Jr. is fantastic. His work shines. He seems really genuine and thoughtful, and I wish we got to hear more from him in the documentary. The documentary also seems to really confirm uh, who Leah Michelle is offstage. For example from the documentary, Leah Michelle praying for a Tony nomination, and then blaming God when she didn't get a Tony nomination. <laughs> yeah, the way that she's depicted in this documentary is very interesting, especially considering the information that's come to light of how she's allegedly treated past cast members and people of color. It's kind of difficult to not think about. Toward the end of the documentary, there's this great story. To close out their run, Groff, Sauce, Leah, and John Gallagher Jr. decided to break into the Eugene O'Neill, as in the Broadway theater that Spring Awakening was playing at, the Eugene Neil Theater. He broke in, evaded security, and had a slumber party at the Eugene O'Neill, and the photos are insane. That's like such an endearing earmark to me on musical theater history. Like it's something that will never happen again, oh my god. But that's so sweet and magical. And I think that's what's most striking about the Spring Awakening documentary. It occurs to you just how young everyone really was. How no one knew the trajectory of their careers or their lives. And they don't act like celebrities yet. It's so easy to see yourself and your friends in this documentary because it feels like theater camp. And I think that's because they authentic captured what it's like to be a young person in musical theater. The laughter, the camaraderie, the gag-inducing amount of teenage hormones. It's all there. Something the documentary reminded me of is what a special ability Spring Awakening has to make teenagers feel seen. It's also maddening how timely the show has remained, and that's something that sticks with me every time I see Spring Awakening. But those are just some of my thoughts I want to hear from you. What did you think about the documentary, the reunion, the concert, anything at all? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You can click the link down below or you can use code CAT16 at HelloFresh.com. I hope you're having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.